Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying four different types of cheeses. These were bought at the Wisconsin Cheese Mart from Michael, and he bought them, and he had them mail to us. So, I might mispronounce some words here and there, but it's okay. Uh, the bottom line is, do we like cheese? <laughs> so, this is the, uh, they're all Sartori cheeses. This is the Parmesan Sartori, Sarvicchio. This is the Bella Vitino or Bella, Bella Vitano uh, Sartori Raspberry. This is the Bella Vitano Merlot. And espresso. And espresso. <laughs> so we're gonna try the Parmesan first. And I'm gonna let you know, we are not cheese. Aficionados. Aficionados. So I'm just gonna slice these like on the end so we can keep the rest wrapped up. And um, before you start, I wanna look And at we'll, uh, we'll just go try like the ends of it. It says the nutrition facts. It says uh, there are about five servings in one and one inch cube, and it's uh, about 110 calories. Five servings in a one inch cube. Yes. Wow. <laughs> uh, it says best cheese U.S. Championship cheese contest. So we um, normally with a Parmesan cheese like this, you would grate this, and this one. Um, uh, I'm going to tell you uses for it and things like that, but just know that. Uh, because we're trying this for a video, we're just going to try and small hunks of it, but this isn't how we, you would normally do it at home. I wouldn't think. No. Uh, this is, uh, let me see. This is the, uh, well, let me read you about, I, I looked all this up online. It says uh, the Bella Batano style, unique to Wisconsin, features a rich and creamy texture with great craveable taste, reminiscent of an aged premium Wisconsin cheddar balanced by a full flavored Parmesan. The combination of cheddar and Parmesan give this cheese a terrific texture, somewhere between creamy and rich and crunchy and gran granular. Created by the master cheesemakers at Sartori in Plymouth, Wisconsin, who use time-honored techniques and the highest quality milk. So now this one specifically. It's just Parmesan. It's the Parmesan Sarvicchio cheese. Sartori Parmesan is an Italian style hard cheese made from cow's milk. This classic Italian style Wisconsin cheese is aged a minimum of 20 months. Full flavored, buttery, nutty, and slightly sweet, this Wisconsin cheese has full bodied flavor in addition to a pleasing grainy texture. Highly recommended grated for pasta dishes, spaghetti sauces, pasta fillings, pasta salads, pizza, and last but not least, salad. This uh, one in particular is $4.60. That's kind of small piece. I can smell that corn, though. It's not as hard as I was expecting it to be. And so this is one that normally you would have grated. That would be excellent for a salad. Well, that's a strong cheese. Mm -hmm. oh. You think that's strong? It's very strong. <laughs> I love Parmesan. I think if I put it over something, we got water to yeah. rinse our palate. I think over pot by itself, I would never eat, the, eat that by itself. But on, on top of things, I think it would be good. I agree. I wouldn't mind... Um, having it like they said, but they also recommended um, that you could have it with wine, beer, and on the website, anytime I say wine or beer, they give very specific wines and beers. Um, uh, savory crackers, crusty artisan bread, chicken, pork, olives, dried fruit, and nuts. Those are the kinds of pairings that you could have with that cheese. Um, I like that a lot, and I think it, it does have a really good flavor a and a good texture and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It's not a cheese, like I said, it's not a cheese you're gonna go get a slice of. <laughs> no, I don't think <laughs> but, so. But uh, but it is good cheese. But that in combination with uh, lettuce and whatever, like a blue cheese dressing, that would be delicious with that. Now, what is this one we're doing next? Is this the raspberry? Raspberry, yes. Okay. So the raspberry. Uh, this Bella Vitino is, uh, let's see, where are we going? Soaked in, in handcrafted raspberry tart L to give it extra tang and a delicious zing. This one was $5.75 online. It is, the age is between a young and a medium. The texture is between medium and hard, and the flavor is on the mild side, but it's closer to a medium. 
so the pairing recommendations, wine, beer, nuts, crusty artisan bread, and chocolate. Hmm. So, Mmm. It definitely has a different flavor. It does, but I like it. I've never had anything like that. It's different. It's very different. I could see putting this on like, um, like appetizers, like little, um, like the, the, like a brioche, uh, uh, a thin, put a thin slice of that over some, some toasted bread. That would be so good. Put it in the yes. oven with some tomato. That would be delicious. That would be good. Yes. It, if you put that on a, a piece of crusty bread and put it in a toaster oven for just a few minutes, just to let it melt slightly, that would be delicious. Yeah, it would be. I didn't think that would, and now they describe that as between mild It's pretty strong cheese medium. though. I mean the flavors are strong. Yeah, but yes, I guess we're not used to, we're not used this to high quality life. cheese, I guess. Um, I'm used to American Sargento yeah, Pepper Jack. Sargento. <laughs> okay, this not is- Not this the, high flavor change. <laughs> Uh, yes, that's why it's so fun to get to try it though. This is the Merlot. It is a, um, soaked in Merlot to give it extra tang and a delicious Merlot flavor. Merlot tang. This one is $5.75 online. It is a young cheese with a hard texture between medium and strong flavor. Oh, Lord. Um, the pairing recommendations are wine and beer. I think all of these go with wine and beer. Uh, dried fruit, crusty artisan bread, or grapes. I can't imagine eating, eating cheese and beer. <laughs> that is strong. There's crunchy stuff in there. But I like that. I wonder. Mm, no, no. It is. It does have a tangy. It does. I actually I like that like better it. than the other ones because I think the Merlot covers up some of that cheese, the funky cheese flavor. Mm -hmm. I think the Merlot covers up some of that, and, and it, for me, it kind of melt, melt, it um, mutes it somewhat. That right. really strong cheese flavor. I oh. love the tangy, the flavor of that, the tangy flavor, uh, and I would probably put that on uh, crusty bread as well. Yeah, any of these, I think. Would mm -hmm. be good. This that would be very dark. I'm trying to think of the way that Kevin and I would use it. You know, you might eat it at your house with grapes. Um, we usually don't sit around and uh, <coughs> I don't feed Kevin grapes. <laughs> grapes. Like, he's like, yeah, I don't do that here. So, crusty bread, that's for us. But if you have bread with cheese and grapes on the bread with the cheese, you know, sometimes I'll put like the bread with right. the cheese and something on top, mm -hmm. sliced olives would be. Would be a neat thing to put on. And what is this last one? The espresso? espresso. Wow, you smell it. The, uh, um, it's hand rubbed with freshly roasted espresso, creating a truly unique flavor, delicious for breakfast, dessert, or whatever your taste buds desire. This one was also $5.75 online. Um, it is a medium texture, um, sorry, the age is medium. The texture is somewhat soft, but almost medium between mild and medium flavor. The pairing recommendations, wine and spirits, spirits such as scotch or brandy, mm. beer or whole grain or wheat breads, crackers, water crackers, butter crackers, pita or tortilla, poultry, pork, vegetables, apples, pears, grapes, dried fruits, nuts, and olives. So that one has a more it goes range, range yeah. range area. I like that okay. It's not my favorite by any means. But now, see, I really like it. I like the Merlot one better. Than I didn't get any tanginess with that one at now, all. There's a bitterness to it though from, I guess, the espresso. Maybe a little bit, but I also, it might sound weird, but it's, it's to me, it was even a little, uh, it's not sweet, but it's in comparison to the other one, it was just completely different. Yeah, it was it, different. There was no tanginess at all. And, um, hmm. It would definitely go well with like um, even a Ritz cracker. You know, they can't say put it with a Ritz cracker, but I think that would be good uh, with a club cracker, Ritz cracker, something like that, I think. Slice fairly thin. Mm-hmm, yes. But uh, yeah, I mean, 
these are all good. So They're which good was quality. your favorite? Probably the Merlot. I like. Now, which would you do? Is regularly probably just the regular Parmesan, Parmesan. shredded over like pasta and stuff. Um, I like the espresso out of the like. It, Aside from the Parmesan, because I, I, the Parmesan, honestly, for us is the most practical because you can use it um, on right. all kinds of pastas. Um, but out of the three, like, specialty flavors, I like that uh, espresso the best. Yeah, and I like the Merlot. Yeah, I thought these were really good. Yeah, they're very good quality cheeses. They're yes. not They're not as hard as I was expecting. Even the Parmesan, usually when I'm, I'm thinking Parmesan, I'm thinking kind of a, a hard cheese that they really just... Mm, great. Right. This is a, I mean, it's, it's not soft, soft, like a, like a really soft cheese, but it is, it's not hard either. Mm -hmm. It's firm. It's kind of in the middle, I guess. Right. Yeah. These are all very nice. And, um, this was a complete surprise box from Michael. Mm -hmm. So we really appreciate it. Um, this was nice to get to try these. So I'm going to have a picture. I don't know if you'll be able to tell much from it. Just um, see a little bit of the color. But you'll, yeah. You'll be able to see a little bit of the color at the end. And thanks for watching.